mean, I'm sure you probably would have worked it out eventually, but there's no time, is there? I mean, just get Faye to reverse engineer it, fix your shield, build a whole load, blah, blah, blah. Where are you gonna go? Uh, I'm not really sure, to be honest. Um, east, west, you know. Again, I am sorry. Right, you said. Yeah, uh, not just for that. Uh, I'm sensing a whole load of Demillion Furies heading this way right now. Ooh, yeah, they seem particularly nasty. You should be fine, though. Good luck, hero! Oh, and you son of a bitch! With sensitivity to the Anthem and having incredible mental abilities, the Cyphers are a unique faction within the world of Anthem that aid us in everyday activity out on the field, both as friend and foe. Their origins are just as mysterious to us as to them, with little known information recorded as to how they came to be. What we do know is that becoming a Cypher tends to start at a young age, with those showing signs of a unique ability being prompted off for special training to enhance their mental abilities and ember exposure, which, from what I can tell, exposes the user to pure and raw energy of the Anthem, which allows them to push their abilities further. This is all conducted at a training faculty called Satomi, which is a specialised training school for all up-and-coming Cyphers to study. The most advanced and prominent Satomi within the region is called Estuarat, located in Antium, which, who played a part in developing most of the on-site gear for Cyphers to use, such as the Amplifier. Although it's to be noted that what the method behind using more Anthem energy and the devices used to achieve this enhancement to Cyphers is unknown, it's been made aware that the Dominion do this as well through prisoners or volunteers in conduct their experiments, with some speculation indicating that this method is the reason why Furies exist, because of Dr. Harkin and his knowledge around this area. The other info we have is the first Cypher, who appeared to gain her abilities after a recent Cataclysm event, with the rest of the folktale explaining her tragic downfall. Interestingly enough, it's after a Cataclysm that the engineer's daughter start to show these abilities. So what if the unique ability is something that all humans have at a young age, like a built-in not active trait, but only becomes active if they're near a active Cataclysm at time? But it can only become active at a young age, since children's minds are still developing. This is pure speculation of course, as not enough information is present to lead to this theory, but it's a possibility. A good sounding possibility. Now, as to how they fit into society, their roles usually stick around guiding and assisting personnel on the field, from Lancers, Corvus troops, Sentinels, Dominions, etc. We currently know that both Faye and Owen are both well preserved and powerful ciphers who act as operators for us, linking in and providing information about the area or oncoming threats. While other times, ciphers have been noted for being used for covert operations, such as the Dominion or Corvus, using them for going behind the scenes and extracting information, or in really rare cases, them using javelins and becoming a whole new threat to some. But this isn't something too common to be worried about, since only two people, being a monitor, and Owen are capable of using and mastering javelins. Plus, it also places a lot of strain on the user because of how Javelin and Cypher's interfaces are designed on them. However, the Cyphers didn't always get the choice in the matter of what they wanted to be. At some point in time, the Cypher Revolution brought forth the Cypher's expanded rights and freedom to choose how their abilities were used, since beforehand, they were destined to only be used for covert operations, nothing more. Thanks to it, the Cyphers can now choose whatever role they want to be in society, but the past event does leave us with wanting more answers on why the Cypher Revolution came to be and some of the treatment they received first hand before the events that were coming in. But becoming a Cypher is known to have some faults within their abilities, and for some, they see this more as a curse rather than a blessing. Because of how sensitive and heightened the Cypher's mental abilities are, it can put a lot of stress onto the user, and they are highly unstable when they're active cataclysms, to the point of them having mental breakdowns from keeping up. There are a few examples of this, such as the short story of the Cypher that wanted to fly, where the Cypher, who is operating a javelin, ends up panicking and breaking down because of the situation they're in, and how their mind is keeping up with the environment that is continuously changing. For us, that's fine, as it's similar to using a plug socket in your everyday appliance with one way in and out. But Cyphers are more like those universal plug sockets, that have multiple access points but can't be overwhelmed or else they'll blow up. Well, not blow up, but as in their appliance will blow up, you, yeah, you get what I mean. Although, with cases such as the Monitor and Owen, who have specially designed javelins catered to around them, this doesn't apply to them. Talk about the Monitor, 
The monster that we face is a very powerful individual with even more powerful telekinetic abilities compared to some. However, one thing that every Scyther fails to take on is the power of the Anthem when an active Cataclysm appears. To us normal folks, the only thing we need to deal with is the monstrous threats that spawn, but the Scythers have to deal with a mental fight between themselves and the Anthem, which has a habit of turning the individuals insane if they listen to it for too long. The monitor in that case is a prime example of an individual slowly losing his mind over the Anthem over time, which in the end completely overwhelmed him. And he and Faye suffer the same fate when we try to shut down the Cataclysm, shows that she's trying her best not to be taken by the Anthem while also supporting us. This is only from a Cataclysm I've noticed that the Cyphers suffered the most out of this, as relics that become active are something that Cyphers can deal with, we don't hear much about it and the damage it does to us. Cataclysm on the other hand, forces the Cyphers into a mental fight of not being able to take on or even kill the Anthem, even though those that hear it describe it as beautiful, as described by Faye at one point. There's also another part that's not explained, and that is the mental damage it will have over time. Since they can technically see and feel literally everything in the world, this must put a lot of pressure on the user's brain. Some of the users are probably well adapted to this issue, but what about those that don't? What happens to those ultimately suffer from the amount of information they receive? Do they get support to control this ability or are they abandoned? And what about the Anthem exposure program that is done on the user to enhance their abilities? It's known that although it can help ciphers, it can also damage them if left for too long. Plus, as we are from what I understand are using raw Anthem myself, which is highly unstable, I can see the negative effects spreading rapidly if not under checked or worst case scenarios, turn them into monstrosities like the Furies we face. So what does the future hold for them? That is not something I can say since everything is still too new to us and this faction, although promising, don't seem to fully know their full extent to abilities just of yet. If I had to theorise, I believe the Cyphers will play a bigger role in the near future with their somewhat connections to the Anthem, and with the rise of Cypher pilots starting to appear for the many, I can see them not only being a viable asset, but a viable tool for whatever monster or enemy faction will need to face against. But only time will tell for this new and relatively upcoming faction. So this is where we end the video for today's subject, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the content then please like and share for more similar content in the future. But like always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.